Let's begin our coverage with political reporter Marsha Kramer, live from Governor Hochul's headquarters, located in Tribeca. Marsha? Well, Christina Maurice, Governor Hochul scored an early decision TKO, and it was so early in the evening that her once Rockham Sockham headquarters is relatively quiet right now. That's because the toasts have been drunk and the confetti has fallen. Happy Hochul! Kathy Hochul made history tonight, becoming the first woman to accept the Democratic Party's nomination at the top of the ticket running for governor. I stand on the shoulders of generations of women, generations of women who constantly had a bang up against that glass ceiling. To the women of New York, this one's for you. Kathy Hochul wore white, suffragette white, accepting the nomination about an hour after the polls closed. She talked about her determination to protect New Yorkers from Supreme Court decisions, including one that overturned the right to an abortion. Hochul was also gleeful that Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado won his primary as well. And all those who said it couldn't be done, well, guess what? He just did it. So I look forward to working with him for many, many years to come. New York politicians jumped on the bandwagon. If you're doing the right thing and you persist, God will reward you and you will succeed. Are we doing the right thing? We have a lot to celebrate tonight. I don't want you to lose the importance of this moment, but we are electing Kathy Hochul as our first female governor to the state of New York. This is our moment, Democrats. This is our opportunity, Democrats. Let's move our country and our city in the right direction. Let's win this fight in November. Thank you very much. Well, when Kathy Hochul spoke to reporters after her acceptance speech, she, expect, she expressed a lot of optimism about the future of the Democratic Party here in New York State. Reporting live from Hochul headquarters in lower Manhattan, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marcia.